a question. She pointed to the classroom wall and said, What's this shape called? It couldn't be a circle, a square, or a hexagon. It could only be a triangle, a truly terrific triangle. I'd recognize that shape anywhere. It's a triangle. It had three straight sides, three internal angles, three pointy corners. It was a terrific triangle. How did I do this? Did I get it right? She said, now that's terrific, but you must be more specific. Can you see what's special about this particular triangle? I looked at it for a while, then answered with a smile. I know. It's a right angle triangle. Very good. Very good, she replied. Oh, thanks, miss. Three straight sides, three internal angles. One of them was 90 degrees. Oh, isn't that a breeze? 90 degrees is a right angle. But the teacher wasn't done. Now tell me about this one. Three straight sides, all different lengths. It was a superb scaling triangle. It had three straight sides, three internal angles. None of them were the same. It was a superb scaling triangle. The teacher, she just smiled. Then she laughed maniacally. You'll never get this one. But miss, maths is so much fun I studied the next triangle I saw it had three equal sides Three pointy corners And three equal angles It had three equal sides And three equal angles Three pointy corners It was an equilateral triangle My teacher looked impressed, but she wasn't finished yet. She was clearly obsessed with the properties of triangles. There was one more triangle left. Again, she put me to the test. It had two equal sides and two equal angles. It had two equal sides, two equal angles. Three pointy corners It was an isosceles triangle